last four years, we have monitored wild-office trail cameras in the wider Sherwood Forest area. One of the species our trail cameras recorded has been the red fox. This is one of the best-known wildlife species in Britain, probably one of the widest spread species around the world. The red fox can be found across the entire northern hemisphere, except Iceland, Arctic islands, part of Siberia and the Isle of Man. The fox is one of the species that lives in burrows underground. Their home is called a den. Foxes prefer habitat like wood, scrub and farmland, but they are very adaptable and have become a common sight in urban areas. Our cameras recorded foxes in many different areas of England's most famous forest and also in other areas of Nottinghamshire. Information in respect of a fox population in the UK is depending on sources, but it appears the general understanding is that the pre-breeding population is between 240 and 260,000 adults each year. Although it is believed that there are probably around 425,000 cubs born each year, the overall pre-breeding population is considered as stable and around the same number each year. This is based on the high mortality rate of fox cubs and foxes in general. The life expectancy of a fox in the wild is only around 3 years, while in captivity foxes are known to live up to 12 years and sometimes even longer. Like every animal, bird, invertebrate and plant species, foxes have an important role within our natural system. The system provides not only wildlife as food and shelter, but all living beings and things with land to live on, water to drink and air to breathe. And this includes ourselves. The diet of a fox is as varied as their habitat. They are a member of the order Carnivora in the taxonomy chart, but they are omnivores, meaning they eat a wide variety of different food, including smaller mammals, birds, invertebrates, worms, fruit and other vegetation. Through this, they are held to control other wildlife populations and more. For example, rodent populations will increase without animals like the foxes and young foxes have to learn how to catch them, not only watch and follow them. Our cameras recorded foxes mainly on their own, and you may find on some web pages that foxes are solitary animals. However, over the last few years, experts have stated that foxes are more sociable and that a dog and a vixen may stay together for life. We have observed more than one fox in front of our cameras only during the mating season and then a vixen, a female fox, has young ones. This includes also that a dog, a male fox, looks after the vixen while she stays with the cubs in the den for the first few weeks of their lives. This year we observed also a male fox helping with the upbringing of the cubs until they emerge from the den for the first time. Fox cubs are born blind and stay so for the first two weeks of their lives. Once they gain their eyesight, we will start to explore the den and will emerge from the den for the first time when they are around 5 weeks old. At this time they still suckle mom's milk. But interestingly, they also start to eat solid food. Foxes may be active at any time of the day, but if a home range is a place with lots of human activities like Sherwood Forest, they appear to prefer to roam and forage more at night time. 
Over our four-year trail camera survey, we have recorded foxes being out during daylight hours at various occasions, but only in areas and or at times when there have been no or very few people in the area. Contrary to common belief, not all encounters between a fox and a badger end up in a fight. This encounter lasted for more than five minutes and at no time did any of the animals show aggression towards the other. Foxes and badgers live in the same habitat areas. And if there is enough food and space, a fox may even live in a disused part of an otherwise active badger set. We found two badger sets this year, where we set up trail cameras in the hope to get some footage of badger cubs. However, we found that foxes were living here, and it were their cubs that were emerging from this part of a badger set. The red fox has been a part of a natural environment around us for at least 8,000 years. They are a native species and an important link in the natural food chain. <laughs>